What's going on out there gamers? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with a dope unlimited money glitch for you guys. It's a two player retro duplication glitch and it's the first one of its kind inside the facility. All right, it's a really cool glitch. Uh, first of all, I want to give a shout out to the founders. Uh, the original, basically the method for using this was found by Killer Gaming and uh, Tudo Facile had the workaround for that. So shout out to those guys. And this brand new method in the facility, you got to give a big shout out to Boca Boy, one of my personal friends, along with Bruntango as well. All their links will be down in the description. Go check those guys out. They're really cool. All right. So what you're going to need is you're going to need one friend, obviously. You both need to be owning the same facility. And along with that, your friend needs an Avenger in his facility. And you want one car you want to duplicate stored in your facility as well. So you want a retro in there. We recommend Benny's vehicles. They sell for the most. So have a retro sitting in there. And the rest, you just want to have like stock LG RH8s or Fagules will work as well. And you're going to need an MOC as the duper, right? If you're duping, you need an MOC to save the vehicle and the ability to sign in as a CEO as well, all right? And you do not need custom plates for this, all right? Custom plates do not matter whatsoever for this glitch. All right, so we're going to get started here and we're in the perspective of the duper. So right now, I'm the duper and this is what you're going to do once you're the duper. You are going to go ahead and just actually run up and you want to get into one of your RH8s or Fagios that you're going to want to, you know, turn into a dupe. Make sure that this is the one that you're going to be duping over, all right? Because we ran into problems when we just use random cars. So I want to turn this RH8 into that retro right there, right? I want to duplicate that retro over this vehicle right here. That's why I'm getting into this vehicle. All right, simple as that. Now. Once I'm at that point, I'm going to go ahead and get into the vehicle and I'm going to sign in as a CEO. So I'm going to go to, uh, you know, Securo serve and just sign in basically as a CEO. And then I'm going to end up sending my friend BMX here an invite. Shout out to BMXer for helping me out with this video as well. So I've signed in as a CEO and you're going to see right now I'm about to send him an invite. So I'm going to go to hire associates and I'm going to hire him. And I'm going to go ahead and hover over retire, all right? And you're just going to sit there. Make sure you're in your vehicle, you're sitting there, and you're hovering over retire. So now this is the helper's perspective. The helper needs to go ahead and get into his Avenger, just like this. All right, so now once I'm in my Avenger, just like that, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go ahead and, uh, and I'm going to let him know, you know, send me that invite. So you see the duper, he's in his vehicle doing all that stuff like I showed you before. He went ahead and he sent me the invite to his CEO. So now as the helper, I'm going to go ahead and hover over that invite. I'm going to start walking over towards the, you know, the door and I'm going to spam A to accept the invite and exit as well. All right. Exit the Avenger. Right when I hit that black screen, I'm telling him to retire. Okay. Right when you see that black screen, you tell the duper to go ahead and retire. If done correctly, you should spawn in a glitched out facility. It's his facility. That's his Avenger and stuff like that. You'll see his vehicles as well. All right. That's how you know that you have hit the glitch perfectly. If you spawn outside, just go ahead and retry the glitch from the beginning. That's it. So you see, I'm in his facility. These are all his vehicles. All right. That's how you want to do it. So now we're back to the perspective of the duper. This is basically when he said, all right, go ahead. You know, I'm at the black screen and I retired. And this is what you're going to see. You know, if you're the duper that you're going to see, he didn't have any vehicles on this account. So all of his vehicles basically, or my, my special vehicles went ahead and disappeared. Don't worry. They all come back. You're good. And uh, as you can see, his Avenger spawned in my facility as well. So we're going to continue on as the duper. Right here, this is the car I want to duplicate. It has a custom plate on it, but that's okay. All right, that plate will change. Just remember I had a custom plate on that car. All right, but you do not need custom plates for this. I just wanted to have one there so that you can see that that plate is actually going to fully change. So once you've done that, your friend's in your facility, just tell him to chill out in there for now. Uh, you know, that's the helper. I'm the duper. Just tell the helper to just, you know, relax in your facility. What you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and run over to the vehicle management circle. That's the one where you can switch cars and stuff like that. Now, the gar your garage, basically, all the cars are in a glitched out frozen state. So watch when I go ahead to try to switch these cars. I'm going to move the retro over to that LG I was sitting in. And look what they're named as. The LG retro is, li is listed as an RH8. And the RH8 is listed as an LG retro custom. All right. That's because they are frozen, they will not move, but they move in the list, okay? So that's all you wanna do. You wanna just switch an RH8 with a retro, all right? So move the retro over to that RH8 that you were sitting in. That is all you wanna do. 
Now, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and hop into the one that looks like the LG Retro. All right, technically the garage thinks that that's an RH8. That's all good. So this is what you want to do now. Hop in it, look at the, look at the roll easy plate there, and just simply press right trigger or R2 to drive out. When you drive out, look at the plate, and you're going to see it changes right there, 62 CBM. That is the plate of the LG RH8 that was sitting inside of my you know garage there. That's the one that I was sitting in when I went ahead and did the glitch, all right? So now what you want to do when you go outside, go ahead and request your MOC. And uh, I should have mentioned this before, but I would just recommend that you have an RH8 or a Fagio sitting in there already because it's just going to transfer over to your facility. All right, so that's what I have in there. I just have an RH8 inside my MOC. I'm going to hit right D-pad, and then I'm going to go ahead and transfer vehicles. Don't worry, you don't lose what's in there. It just transfers over to your facility. Now, the reason we needed to do this is because this is how the LG Retro actually saves as a dupe. If you don't do this and you drive back into the facility, it's going to turn back into an RH8. So that's all you got to do. Just drive it in there and save it, and then you want to go ahead and drive it back out, and now you can take it over to your facility. Now you want to tell your friend, all right, exit the facility so that it's not all glitched out and stuff. So as you can see, BMXer left my facility, and I can go ahead and drive back in. All right, it's gonna, if you have a full facility, it's gonna say you need to remove a vehicle or, you know, it needs to be transferred. That's all good. All right, all that's gonna happen now is that you're gonna drive in there and you're gonna just pick, say, an RH8 or a Fagio that you have in there and it's gonna just transfer over to your MOC. So that's why I recommend just having one in there because you're gonna need it anyways, all right, if you're just gonna keep duping in your facility. So I'm gonna be loading in here in a second now and you're gonna see I'm just gonna grab any one of those RH8s and I'm just gonna transfer it over. You're gonna end up right at the vehicle selection menu as you spawn in here, all right? So right now boom there we go so i'm looking i'm looking i'm just gonna go to that spot that i was at before and i'm gonna go ahead and boom just like that so as you can see right there i actually do have two retros in there just like that that's how you duplicate a car it's mad easy you know it's it's super super simple man it can't be well it's pretty our glitch is pretty simple too but this is very very simple as well man shout out to you guys boca and uh bruntango for sure so you can see that's the dupe with the uh, merged plate and that's my original right there with the roll easy plate see so they're both there that is the brand new dupe right over here the rh8 was overwritten with this car so that's how you go ahead and you dupe a vehicle guys nice and simple uh what i'm also going to include in this tutorial actually is how to get you know free mo or uh, free avenger upgrades you know so i'm going to show you guys right now how to actually get free avenger upgrades uh for this you obviously both need an avenger but you're pretty much doing the same thing it's kind of like the uh the free moc upgrades so in a sense you know it's some of you might have done this before so if you have an avenger without many upgrades just go ahead and you're going to be doing this glitch kind of the same way so Go ahead and walk into your facility and uh, have your friend walk into his facility as well. And basically the person that, like the helper, you know, that was helping the person dupe the car, the person that has to go into their Avenger and stuff and uh, accept the invite, that's the person that's going to be able to get the free Avenger upgrades because you're going to be spawning in your friend's uh, glitched out facility and that's how you'll be able to change something on, you know, his mechanics list or, you know, his vehicle management mechanics list, you know, whatever you want to call it. So now this is basically my perspective right now. This is the person that's going to be going ahead and getting the upgrades. All right. Now I'm not actually going to get his upgrades because he didn't have any, but I just want to show you guys how it's done real quick in case you wanted to go down that route. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my uh, Avenger. He is standing in the middle of his facility floor. He signed in as a CEO and he went ahead and sent me an invite and he's hovering over retire. I'm just going to spam a on accepting the invite and exiting the Avenger right when I hit that black screen I'm telling him retire that's it so now if done correctly once again check it out I'm spawning right here there he is just standing in the middle of his floor and I can go ahead and hop into his Avenger now because I'm glitched into his you know facility so this is his Avenger all I got to do is hop in here and I got to just hit right d-pad to actually go on the mechanics list now it might not work for everyone it didn't work for bmx when he tried to get my stuff he couldn't hit right d-pad but i can hit right d-pad on his so right now if you wanted all of their upgrades you would just change one little thing i'd recommend just going ahead and going to the library and just changing the library all right once you've done that you can exit the vehicle exit out of his facility and then once you've exited out of his facility go back into yours and you should have all of his upgrades all right it's basically how that works it's kind of like the moc upgrades so that's all that is guys uh right now this is just a clip of me driving around uh in the glitched out facility uh, i do believe this is the helper that can do this actually if you guys want to just have some fun and drive around and just you know wreck stuff 
and just drive into cars and do whatever you want pretty much yeah the tank is like unmovable by this thing so don't try to you know crash into the tank thinking you're gonna move it <laughs> but uh but yeah that's all you got to do guys i hope you really enjoyed this glitch right here uh, a lot of stuff to come with the facility it's super glitchy so i can't wait to see what you know our fellow youtube glitchers and everybody comes up with in the future but uh yeah until next next time guys my name is roll easy uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new make sure to turn on them post notifications drop a fat like on this video if you enjoyed it as well for the freshest and the most informative dope gta 5 online content peace out everybody don't forget that we do have a duplication glitch me and bmx are as well and it is still working i'll leave a link down in the description and i'll also leave the link uh at the end of the video as well all right you should be seeing it soon all right so peace out everybody have a great day